To find the oxidation numbers for each element in Cu2S, copper 2 sulfide, we'll use these rules here. The first thing we notice is there's no negative or positive sign after Cu2S. That means it's a neutral compound. All the oxidation numbers will add up to zero. We won't find copper or sulfur in our rules here. They can have different oxidation numbers depending on what they're bonded to. We can, though, look here at this other rule that says the more electronegative element in a binary compound, this is a binary compound, will have a charge, its oxidation number will be equal to the charge if it were an ion. So if we look at sulfur here, it's more electronegative. What would its charge be if it were an ion? So on the periodic table, we're looking for sulfur, which is right here. So sulfur, same group as oxygen, has a two minus ionic charge. So we have the charge for the sulfur. We said that would be equal to the oxidation number because the sulfur, it's more electronegative. Copper is over here somewhere. Here's sulfur right next to the most electronegative element on the periodic table. So we know the charge on sulfur. So the oxidation number, that's going to be minus two. So the question now is, we want this all to add up to zero. So two times something plus this negative two here would give us zero. If we had a positive one, two times positive one, that's two plus, two minus gives us zero. So the oxidation state on each copper here is plus one. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.